Come on, show that the stream's starting. Where is it? Why don't you have, you know, every quick say hello first? Hello, stink pants. How are you? Hello, Paul Dot. Finally. What did I ask you as a topic of conversation today? Ah, oh, your hairstyle. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, the cough cough cup or lack thereof. I'm sporting one. I look like a rock star at the moment. What with the long ungainly hair. And you? What about you? Ah, I had a haircut already, so I'm good. And what's the craziest hairstyle you've ever had? Uh, not crazy. It's just um, the one that doesn't suit me. It's it's a bob. You're a bob. You know. What's there was one time that it's um, very popular where the girls have a very short over here and then go longer in it, the front. Doesn't your sister have that? Still? She had before. No, not that. There you go. You say, oh, there's people in the chat already. Hi, Wolfie Afon. What's the worst hairstyle you've ever had? Now, Stinky, you're on your own for a little bit. Mm. While I go and do this thing. Which means you have to do your thing. Which means what? Play game. And do your commentary because you're so good at it. Oh, Penguin's here as well. He's early today. Uh, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Now, I'm leaving Stink Pants for a moment. She's telling me it's hot today. Yeah, it's hot. It's going to be max at 31 or something. Stripping down my boxer shorts. <laughs> Thanks for let us know. <laughs> what is this? I hate when you say that. Okay. Stick. I believe their way of life is the only way. And dedicated to teaching their police to all other nations, huh? Through what their leader claim uh, as divine intervention. What? Spartan? What? The others are known as Archidon, Archer, Sword Rat, Magic Q. Uh. Hmm. So I have to choose my occupation, is that right? Leader of nation call. Huh? Do not worship their weapon as God. This makes you a mark infiltration. Come on, this is very long storyline. <laughs> For each nation along the way. Um, hang on, which one is mine? I'm not Spartan, I'm not this, I'm not that, so I'm the peaceful, peaceful one. Uh, the war begin. Archidon claim to have bows, so accurately piercing their will fall before they get a chance to stand. So what am I? Train a minor. Did you just ask what are you? Well, I can tell you what you are. What is my nation? Uh, mixed Mining? breed. Mine a bag for gold. Okay. Yeah, what, what? Press what? Press you. Oh, gee, I'm way up by him in the chat. This gum uh, looks like it's going to have a lot of ads. Did it have ads already? Uh, hopefully not. Cold outside says Penguin. Random's here. Hello, how are you? It was raining last night. Official MX is here too. Awesome to see all the DLG. Was it raining where you live? It's hot here at the moment. I love the rain. What's this game? It's called Stick War Legacy. Uh, I didn't check to see if it was multiplayer, but I am guessing it is. Seeing as it's, uh, you know, sticks. Ooh, what? <laughs> You're doing well there. I uh, love the rain. Yes, I like it when it rains too. 
Uh, I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Creedence Clearwater Revival, that is. Did you know that, Stinky? And hello to Official MX, how have you been? It's like water fall, it's water falling from the sky. This is true. Poodot, do you guys have your Christmas tree up? Yes, we do. <laughs> do you call that Christmas tree? It, it's a tiny, tiny little tree. We were cleaning out the uh, garage because of the whole hoarding thing, doing the spring clean, and the, the tree was there. I said, did you want to put it up, stink pants? She said, ah, fine, whatever. And then the cat attacked it. <laughs> That's the cat's Christmas for you, attacking the Christmas tree. She gets no presents this year. So, there's a few things that I wanted to talk about, but Stinky wanted to talk about hairstyles to begin with. What? I used to have a mullet. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Business at the front, party at the back. You don't know the mullet? Nope. You've seen the mullet. I've shown you football players that wear the mullet. Uh, what's the favourite season? For me, because of where we are, I would still have to say, well, it's it's almost a tie between winter and spring. Spring's a lovely time of the year, but I don't mind the cold. And we don't live in an area where it gets exceptionally cold, although stink pants would disagree with that, wouldn't you, Stinky? You think it's freezing during winter, you sooky lala. Uh, and what about everyone else? What's your favourite time of the year? Uh, Peter, can you do a Christmas tree reveal? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, if you want, I can uh. take a... If we can get the cat to sit next to it, I'll take a photo of it and post it in the community tab. How about that? <laughs> You want to see how small and pathetic it is? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it might be, it might melt because of the hot, hot sun. That's right. There's no white Christmas here. So it's all about the summer. Red December's here. Hello, how are you? It's good to see you too. She says she likes the mullet haircut. What? Have you ever had a perm? What? <laughs> <laughs> It's like that 80s style haircut. What is perm? It's big and buffy and maybe a bit Hang curly. Hang on, perm is for permanent. Permanent what? Well, it, it's permanent for a while. Not yeah, forever. Yeah, but for what? For your hair. There's many kind of permanent thing, like straightening or curl or, More you know. curly. It's like a curly sort of cut. I had my hair curled before, but this, like... It's kind of new hairstyle, not that like perm thing. Because you're fashionable, that's why. And Penguin says he has a mullet. There you go, Red December will like that. Uh, Random's asking what's the favourite, uh, my favourite month. Hmm. Do I have a favourite month? Should you say the month of your birthday, which I don't really celebrate? Oh, the month of Stink Pants' birthday, that's my favourite month. You should have seen the dirty look she gave me. Uh, I wonder if I can buy a Logmas tree from the Clash of Clans shop. Um, you should be able to get a free one in the, the events. Uh, is that what it's called? The special events? The monthly whatever it's called? I got mine for free there at the very start. Uh, Uncle Poodot, size matters not. This is true. Uh, although I have put in the title of the video, Skinny Always Wins. Because let's face it, you're playing Stick War Legacy. Uh, Poodot, when will you add Nightbot? Oh yes, I did see that uh, random that you mentioned it in Discord. So I don't really know how to do it. So if you do and you think it'll help advertise the Discord, just go ahead. I'd sort of rely on the, the admin team in the Discord to basically run it. Because if you left it up to Poodot, nothing would happen. He doesn't know what to do. He's hopeless. And by he, I mean me. Talking in the third person. That's what I'm doing there. Uh, I'm going to... But you, Penguin and Stinky... I'm going to put... I think Wolfie Anon's saying that she's going to put... Me? Penguin and Stinky in a meme because I don't know. We've never been memed before, I don't think. So that'll be interesting. Uh, I remember Poodot said he has a bad experience with Nightbot. 
Um, no, I just had a look at it briefly, but I don't really know how it works or how to install it properly. So you've got that. Oh, we've got Ray's way over doing it. Is here with us live for the first time. Welcome to the DLG. Say hello, everybody. Uh, Plane Mode's here as well. It's my time to chat. That's right, Plane. We love it when the live chat talks to us. It keeps us more ent entertained. Uh, I have, I'm jumping up and down in the live chat here. I have no idea what you just said, Cat, but I'm just going to say okay. Uh, no, Peter, at a real-life log mystery, the Clash of Clans content creators have one. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, so, time to chat. Hi, loving the accent. Stink Pants, do you want to do your accent too? Okay. S silence. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. Yeah, that'd be right. They, they, they give a, mm -hmm. a golf clap there for the Stink Pants' commentary. Well done. No worries. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, everyone's got different uh, accents in the live chat as far as I know. They're from all over the place. Uh, and I believe many of them are multilingual. If I'm not mistaken, Ray's way over doing it is also multilingual. Don't quote me on that though. I'm struggling to spell because I have a dog on, on me and my phone's at 3%. You got a lap dog. I wish we had a lap cat. That cat's so unsociable to us. Uh, Plain Mode Neuro, I've never played this. Oh, I have played this before. So if we get some tips from you, Plain Mode, that's awesome because Stink Pants, as per usual, has no idea what the game is before the stream starts. Uh, we are the champions, yes indeed. I don't know you ain't a dog, there you go. Now, no one's really telling much about the haircuts that they've had over time, so can I move to a bit of YouTube news? Can I do that? Of course. So, there's been a really good update recently. Now, I know not, not many people have access to it, uh, but they've actually made themselves contactable. Now, PSA, Public Service Announcement, please don't, if you do have access to it, don't uh, overuse it or use it for silly reasons because uh, you never know, they might take it away. But I tested it this morning before the stream and I did, I don't know if it's an AI bot. They're pretty intelligent these days, but it seems like I was doing a live chat with a real person from YouTube. And uh, we had an issue earlier this week that we managed to resolve, but I just asked like what the story was. Now, they didn't quite understand my questions, so they didn't really uh, answer me the way I, I would have hoped. But it didn't matter. I was just over the moon that uh, they've finally done that, which is great. So just be aware, you might have a, a live chat function uh, on your channel if you have one. But as I said, don't don't just contact them for no reason or for silly reasons. It should hey, be a... your hand is kind of hot. Put it away. That's because I'm hot. And sweaty. Say it. And sweaty. <laughs> You're not supposed to add the sweaty part, Stinky. <laughs> just hot. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I just remembered uh, Supercell closed their merchandise shop. I didn't even know they had one. Plane mode's telling you to upgrade the archers. Okay. So, yeah, yeah this will be a little bit like your um, favourite game that you haven't played yet. Or well, not favourite, but you know, the one. The one that's no longer in existence. So he's giving you tips as to which ones are better to upgrade first. Thank you, Plane mode. Keep the, the tips coming. Boo Archers says Kane upgrade goblins. Are there any goblins in this? Uh, 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 well, we have something like this big miner. <laughs> Similar oh, to goblin. I guess that's like a goblin there, isn't it? Uncle Poodle, garlic or Christmas? Penguin always gets the tough questions going. But no, I've still got to say garlic. Christmas only comes once a year. And it's not like we're big celebrators in this household because Stink Pants comes from a culture where... Christmas isn't really celebrated at all. So they do have decorations and things these days in the city though, don't they? Like it's sort of a celebration, but it's not a tradition. So, you know, and really I only look forward to the turkey, which I can buy anytime during the year. So garlic all the way. Uh, Playmate, what town hall are you? What 
what I do is buy four sword men, then buy mar- archers as much as I can. Stinky. Aye. So four sword men and then the rest in archers. That's cool about the live chat with YouTube. How do you find it? So in your uh, YouTube studio, uh, well, just studio, I think anywhere on the studio it'll be there. And it's in the top right-hand corner. So again, I implore you, be very careful using it. So I'll only ever use it if I really, really need to. Uh, But yeah, it's good. But I will also uh, warn that the video that I saw, they're only letting certain creators use it. So I don't know how we qualified because we probably shouldn't have. Uh, but it is there. So there you go. Hey, uh, shut up. Penguin's saying no upgrade hog riders. Uh, support my stream by... Whoa. I believe, my goodness, that that message there, Wow. So I'm I am absolutely shocked. No, that is there is a partner program on Omelette Arcade and they said that they might advertise in the live chat. So they've actually done that it looks like. They've advertised in our live chat. Now I hope we get paid for that because that's what's supposed to happen. But thank you Omelette Arcade. Wow, our first Omelette Arcade uh, advertisement. Ethanate is here playing Minecraft. Did you get sponsored? No. Uh, well, I'll talk about uh, sponsorships while while we're on that topic. Um, I think since we've started, we've probably had a dozen sponsorship offers by now. Uh, I haven't taken up any of them, though, because you've got to be very, very careful. Uh, and we were certainly offered one when we still only had like a hundred subs or something it was very tiny so you do have to be careful with the legitimate and non-legitimate ones uh some of them we're getting is to advertise stuff that i wouldn't stand behind anyway uh even if it was legitimate it's not something that uh, i would want advertised on the channel but most of them seemed like they were a little bit scammy now i have no expertise in this so You know, I do a little bit of back and forth emails just to see what they're about. But I say be very careful if they're sending you links. Uh, If the English or whatever language they're writing in doesn't look legitimate, like there's lots of errors in the the, um, way that they've written it, I'd be careful of all of those sorts of things. So, no, but maybe omelettes, I don't know if you call that a sponsorship, but they're advertising, so there you go. High five, Stinky. Huh? For what? For getting our first uh, advertisement in the live chat. We've uh, <laughs> it's more more than well, actually it's the same as what we've got in uh, what do they call it? Super chats. We got one of those from random, which was awesome. I nearly fell off my chair when that happened. Uh, Poodot, was that link posted automatically? Yeah, it looks like it was. It was not something that I did. Um, but because it's got uh, omelette there then I'm guessing that those guys or that company's done it because they have been saying to us you know if you it's still in beta testing phase so I guess they're testing on a few channels again I don't know why we would qualify it's not like we've got a big following there Uh, but who knows so I'm all excited with that uh, sorry, I'm back. My sister is crying. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Woofie. I hope she's feeling better. We give a good old sisterly comfort, like Stink Pants does. Don't you? Hmm? You don't comfort me, though, do you? No, don't need. All right, now, I wasn't sure whether I should mention this as well, but it's been a, it's been a pretty tough week, and I'm a little bit sad, to be honest. Uh, I saw a couple of things on on YouTube that were very bad. Thankfully, one of them's already been dealt with, but the other one, not so much. But, um, yeah, there was some, some bad news. I probably shouldn't go into detail because I don't want to scare the young'uns, but it's just, a, I guess, seeing these things. If you ever see anything that gets to you, just make sure that you talk to someone about it. You know, ideally a family, 
if not then your closest friends if not talk to a counselor or you know or in the case of what i saw if i was in those countries i'd be contacting the police to say look this is online you need to look into it so yeah there's just a little bit of grandfatherly uncle advice to say you know you will see things that you might not want to see it'll happen at some point in your life so just make sure you talk to someone about it get it off your chest like i did with you stinky didn't i when i saw it happen oh, wow uh uncle put up and aunt stink pants are the champions stinky's a champion archie uh, upgrade siege barracks and get your log launcher now, Mary Logmas. Hey, Defend everyone. says playmate. Everyone said to upgrade everything pretty much. All right, no. When Kane's talking, he's talking about uh, Clash of Clans. But when Plain Mode's talking, he's talking about the game because he's played it. So you got to follow his advice. So who's saying what? <laughs> uh, what happened, Uncle Poodot? Um, because of the dumb boss getting after her for no. Hot. Reason I'm still hot, aren't I? So, and sweaty. So, no, you don't say the sweaty part. Um, all right, look, I'll, I'll try to tell you without being graphic about it because it's the, the graphic part that's quite upsetting. So the first one, and it's not like... Um, it's... How do I put this? Because I try to follow some YouTubers that seem to have news about youtube it's not like this isn't known but it's not the wider masses might not know about it um should i say the country or not maybe i shouldn't say the country there's a there's a country in the world where live streamers are doing things for money that not only are they illegal and very very bad uh, it's it's unfortunate that someone actually died as a result and it was in the live stream so hopefully that sort of stuff doesn't become prevalent and that when it does happen there's enough sensible people that just try and get it shut down very quick, quickly but um, I was quite shocked to thankfully I didn't see it live it was only the the news reports but I could see news reports where they didn't really censor anything so you know whether you saw it live or not it's it's pretty bad that it's out there so it's a shame that some people in the world are evil and they choose to behave that way um yeah and you know obviously feel very sorry for the family and just what went down that was horrible so that was one thing uh the other one i happened to cross a smaller channel uh, but it's not small it had something like at the time 14,000 subscribers and it's another case where uh, I'm, I'm almost positive that the person that appears on the channel is not behind what goes on on it because she's far too young um, I would estimate that she's maybe six or seven uh, but she's doing things online that um, really skirt the boundary of what is legal and what is not so what she's doing is legal but it's pretty clear that whoever's behind that channel i assume it's the parents um they're certainly using her in a in a way that you just shouldn't do so we've talked about this before that you know i always worry when there's younger people that that have channels you know i would implore that if you are under the legal age, like I know 16, 17 year olds probably aren't going to think this, but, um, or maybe even 15 year olds, but I would say talk to your parents when you're doing stuff, show them what you're doing, make sure that they're fully aware of what you're doing online. Um, because there are, you know, things can happen and you might not be aware you haven't had enough life experience to know. So you might think it's all nice and innocent, but there's something else going on in the background. So yeah, it always, it, I was not happy when I saw that. I spoke to Stink Pants quite a bit about it. I reported the channel, but that's about all, all you can do. So yeah, so um, 
No, no, no. Sorry, plain mate. What I was talking about has nothing to do with the game. This is more of the... Um, every now and again, I'll see things on YouTube that I wish I hadn't, but it just happened to be two in one week. So it got to me a bit more than it usually does. So be safe out there, I guess, is, is what I'm getting at. And, you know, have your parents involved if you are a younger person. Uh, I've said that to a couple of my friends that have children that decided they wanted to have a, a channel and I said to them, you know, you need to uh, keep a, a very good eye on what goes on just so that they don't get into any trouble. So there you go. Uh, yeah, please, please do that. My mates want to start things and I told them to talk with their parents before they began. That's right. I, I honestly think that's one of the best things you can do. Because, again, and I'm sorry that I often repeat myself in these streams, but it's partly because I am older and I'm from a generation where there was, there was no internet, you know, no social media, and it is changing the world in a very rapid way. And the exposure that you get online is nothing like I grew up with. So the, the dangers are very real. Uh, thankfully, it's it doesn't happen most of the time so i'm gonna have to believe that there are more good people and bad in the world but there are bad people in the world very bad people so um if you're young you know just be careful what you do until you start to uh, realize the way that the world works and keep people involved in what you're doing that you know in real life that you actually trust i think that is very important because you know, in all honesty, I wouldn't let my children do it. Even if, if I'm doing it, I'd be saying, no, not until you're old enough. But that's just me. I'm not saying it's a bad thing or, or parents are doing the bad thing. Um, but they should be aware of what their children are doing online. So there you go. Did you have anything, add, have anything to add to that, Stinky? No. Nope. <laughs> all good. Too concentrated on the game. That's right. Look at you go. You're the stick war legacy. Skinny always wins, isn't it? Oh, they are both skinny. Yeah, in this household, skinny always wins. Old Uncle Poodot never wins anything. Tried to get stink pants to start on time today. Wouldn't do it, would you? Fluffing around, taking showers, doing laundry, all of that kind of stuff. So... Any other topics, feel free to talk about them. I'm just rambling at this point, uh, only because I did want to get that out there and Stink Pants did want to talk about her hairstyles. Other no, I didn't than... want to talk about <laughs> hairstyles. <laughs> Other than that, we got nothing. When am I going to get my hair cut? Whenever got... you want. I got the cough cough cut. What do you think I should keep walking around like a geriatric rock star? Because that's what it's starting to look like. I can actually tie it back now. That's how long it's got. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, you're actually doing quite well in this uh, game, Stinky. You think? It looks like it. You're uh... smiting the enemy. That's what you want to do. Your yes. enemy smiter. They are coming. They are. Oh, I should also give a special shout out to a couple of the... Um, we had a couple of channel members that uh, stopped being channel members, but for some reason they joined again. So I've just got to find the names. And obviously I did the shout out at the start too, but just the fact that they came back was shocking. So where are they? Uh, GVTV and Gemery Mataverdi, thank you for rejoining. Hopefully they'll join, actually join a stream one day. I know GVTV has. Uh, and that also brings me to the work that I've got to do. So, are you capable of doing any kind of commentary while I do this thing? Eh, can. Well, and if you've got any, uh, what do you call it, stick figure jokes? I don't know if there is such a thing. Huh? <laughs> Never heard of that. Uh, some of the DLG do searches when they when they uh, are telling jokes, so they might be able to find one. I might have to get rid of that now as well. Oh, hang on. So, sorry, I'm being a little bit distracted uh, live chat. Not that they were saying that much at the moment. Uh, let me just finish this first. 
sort of running out of space for things. All right, almost there. The other thing I'd, well, can I talk about music? Because uh, I was, uh, I went down a bit of a, not even a rabbit hole, I just started listening to a lot of music this week and listening to all of the songs that have the most amount of views on them. Mm-hmm. This is going to turn into a poodot rant. Uh, <laughs> Why again. Is, again. <laughs> Why is it that all of the best songs have less views than this modern day stuff that's not as good? <laughs> and I was listening, and I'm not saying that it's bad music, like clearly people enjoy it. Uh, not to my taste compared to the old stuff. Which some of the old stuff does get billions of views, but not not all of the best songs. They don't even the Beatles don't get billions of views. What's going on with that? What is with that stinky pants? Mm, have no idea. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit that. We're getting the list is getting a little bit too long. Alright, I'll put that in there. So and I noticed some, there are some videos now, music videos, got 3 billion views and more on them. That's crazy. Well, I say good on them. Music should be rewarded when you put in that uh, kind of effort. Uh, where do you get your YouTube news? So, uh, it's a bit of a tough one in that, uh, how do I put this Red December? There, there's commentary channels but they're also commentary drama channels and you need to be uh, pick and choose the ones that you think do good enough research because a lot of them do spread misinformation. They just run with a story without really properly fact checking. And to be honest, they don't care. They do it for the clicks and views and they get the money. So it doesn't have to be accurate. So, uh, and others, you know, even if they are presenting news, it's more like they've just found an article and they read it. But you could start with the commentary drama channels, I guess. Uh, a lot of the time you will find that it's just news about other YouTubers, uh, as in the case with the, the first thing that I mentioned in the stream. Uh, I just saw that in that way. Um, but just do, you know, the, the YouTube search, looking for stuff. So I often find this is a thing because um, the way I use YouTube, I try to make it as random as possible so that I can absorb, you know, as much information that's out there as possible just to see the way uh, things are going on the platform and in the world. So I don't really restrict it to anything. That's why I'm not directing you to a particular place because I think it's useful to get a balanced opinion. Uh, so there you go. Uh, oh, Red December just ordered Chinese food. Nice one. Where's the dinner invite? Uncle Pudok, congratulations on 4.7. Uh, se- uh, I don't think it's 4.7. 4.07. But thank you. This is becoming more and more common. Brilliant job, Uncle Pudok. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure why we picked up subscribers this week. Because uh, I was way behind in the work, so it's not like I was trying to advertise or anything. So, yeah, I guess we're, we're getting a little bit lucky that way. The, the views went up a little bit, so maybe that's it. Who knows? Uh, but then, you know, they go down as well. Up and down, up and down. Uh, K-pop is popular right now. It certainly is. Mm. Even uh, if you noticed that, because sometimes uh, I will log in in a... Inside. Yeah, it is really, isn't it, since Sai? That's like a few years ago. But I've noticed if I log in on a different... That's another thing I'll do is log in with a different country. Yeah. Just to, to see what they're watching. And a lot of the time you will see K-pop on our Western country mm. home recommended. They do invest a lot. I mean, I think that government even, like very promote this kind of industry. Oh, Mountain View Turning is here as well. Hello, it's good to see you in the stream. I think it's the, the first time you've joined. This guy's uh, very talented with um, woodwork. And I think you call it, I don't know what the technical term for lathing is, but do you know what a lathe is? Where you stick a piece of wood on there and it spins around and then you 
you uh, do things to manipulate the wood, create some artwork or bowls and things. If I'm not mistaken about that, so uh, if you haven't checked out each other's channels, please do so. Um, oh yeah, and on that note, uh, just to the mods, uh, please just make sure that people aren't advertising because we got hit with the yellow symbol again. And it does, I mean, we always win the appeal, but it's, you know, important that we don't get it because then you do lose views at the start and obviously what little money we can actually make. So just be aware of that. Uh, tipped, tipped, tipped rin. Tight, oh, hang on, I'm not getting this right. Tight, tipped rin. I hope I said that right, is here. Welcome to the stream. First time for you too. Welcome to the DLG. 21st century music is rubbish, I'm sorry to say, but it's my opinion that is rubbish. <coughs> 68 to 80s music is better, again, my opinion. Penguin is just like me, because I was, I think the same thing, and we both enjoy music from before we were born. 60s music's the best, love it. Uh, I bought a lava lamp for the first time and like it. I asked Stink Pants if we could buy a lava lamp. She said no. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? You already have. Well, do you reckon the cat... Two lambs in there. Oh, well, that's true. But maybe the cat would love it. it would just sit there and stare at it and then try to play with it. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't get one. I, I like it too, but, you know, <clears throat> no space. Where are you going to put it? There's ants working. Wow, sis. Uh, tips. Um, so struggle with... Tepedron's uh, comments. What? <laughs> uh, I'm just struggling to pronounce the, the name. Yay. Oh, and Xavier, YT's here as well. I haven't seen you guys in four months. Well, we're glad to see you again. Look at it. We've got a, a big celebration of people coming and joining today. So it's good to see you. How have you been? Uh, Supercell is shutting down a game called Heyday Pop. In February, it does not meet their guidelines. I didn't even know there was a game like that. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> I've missed a bit. Red December, how are you? He says, Penguin, share me your Chinese food. What kind is it? Panda Express. I'd like to try that one day. I've heard a lot about it. We don't have it here. Uh, BTS got a number, hit, number one hit, I guess she's saying, or a hit. In the US, a K-pop boy band. Do you know BTS? Maybe, um, no. <laughs> no, I haven't heard of them either. I like the beats that they, they do, though. They're very funky. There's a lot of those girl bands uh, have, well, boy bands too, probably. I don't really listen to them. But the, the girl bands have very funky beats. I like it. So we'll make that exception to Penguin's Rule. Is There is some good stuff out there in the modern music but you do have to search for it uh you have more dog viewers stardust moon shadow and lyric like your channel <laughs> that's awesome maybe we should put the kitty cat on one day and then that'll get them really excited well long story short i got played someone i got played someone took this yt and i made a new one and today i got my yt back well i'm sorry that um that happened in the first place, Savior. You. you do have to be careful. Make sure you have a very strong password. Randomize everything. Uh, don't use words. Mix the, the letters, numbers, capital letters, symbols, do all of that. Minimum of 12 characters, I'd say. Even if they say it's eight, I would go 12 or more. You didn't actually pull it out, I right? hope. No. No, good stuff. So, yeah, you do have to be careful. I've, I've had, since we posted that fake channel video, I've had numerous people say, that's not our problem, we've got this problem, and they have their channels stolen and so on. So just, yeah, be wary with that. Uncle Pooter, Christmas with lots of garlic food or Aunt Stink? Christmas with lots of garlic food. I thought you made difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Not difficult. What are you talking about? You know what you want. Yep, garlic. Mm -hmm. I'd trade you in for a bulb. Wouldn't I stink you, my arch nemesis? 
Uh, I got Star, Star Dragon, vegetable fried rice and egg rolls. Egg rolls is huge in America, but not such a big thing here. You don't see it on that many res- on that many restaurants menus, do you? They are there. I've s- egg rolls. I've seen them before, nah. but they're not on every. I never seen it actually. What does it look like? Well, we've never ordered one, so um, it's like a a uh, roll with an egg in it. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know what it is either. But I know the, you know, the one that they put on sushi, this kind of sweet I think, egg roll. I think it might be like that. But, but sushi one is sweet. And it's, you know, the thing is, they just order it. It's, it's they don't make it. Uh, it's right. already made just Pre-made. in the wrapping in like tofu thingy. Right. I don't know. It might be even frozen and you just cut it. All right. There you go. Uh, it's happy to see you guys again. We're happy to see you too, Xavier YT. We love it when the DLG comes back. Uh, oh, we've got someone chow that sounds Italian. So better ciao. just put Italian in there. Do you know any Italian? Ciao. Just bear with me. I should Mercy. No, that's French. Huh? Hang on. Grassi. Uh, gracias? That's... Spanish, I think, or Portuguese. Um, mm, uh, mm, everything else Italian I know is the musical term. Mia Bella. Soprano. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, gee, um, they've probably gone already because I haven't managed to do this. Yeah, yes, you too slow. Slow pop. I am very slow. Just bear with me. Oh, this is the one thing that I didn't have set up. If anyone speaks Italian, uh, quickly say hello. And I'm not even sure it is. It just sounds like Italian. Ciao, mia bella. Something amore. Something, something. All right. Stop trying. Oh, here we go. They're still there. Yes. A visa BM. There we go. Huh? Ciao, buon avetto nello stream. Come sta? How are you? I think oh. that's what that means. Uh, so hopefully they'll stay there and we can keep chatting them uh, to them. Puto, you missed my comment. Which one? Supercell has... Oh, yes. I, I do know that they got rid of a game that random YouTubers suggested uh, to us. And not me, Red December. Happy oh, I read that already. Uncle Puto, today is the 12th of the 12th. That's true. It's one of my mate's birthdays today. I'm going to have to Ooh. give them a call or send a message. Oh. I can give everyone a cup of, a cup of hot chocolate. Nice one. Uh, interesting you guys don't eat the egg rolls. Yeah, they're just not... I mean, they're here. I have we seen them. We eat omelette and we eat scrambled egg. <laughs> yeah, we eat all kinds of egg. But, it's um, just not popular, I guess. Yeah. But is it, it, you know, we always welcome the new culture, like especially Melbourne, we like the food here. There's so many fusion food here and every time you got something new introduced here, it's quite well, um, what do you call it? Welcome. We got so many. So one day if you got nice egg roll, I'm pretty sure we are for it. <laughs> it's just not here yet. That's right. Well, maybe next time we see it, I will have to try try it. Do you think? Mm. Okay. So I'm doing a little, well. I'm not sure which comment you're talking about now, Kane. And yeah, every now and again, I will miss the the uh, comments. Sorry. But wasn't that one for Peter? Oh, it's the 12th or the 13th? Yes, it's the 13th today. Whoops, I'm late to my friend's uh. birthday. <laughs> Aunt Stink, the moon is out. Go to bed. Hey? He's calling you a werewolf, I think. I'm not a werewolf. I'm a bad girl. Bad girl, you said. Uh, okay, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you don't, do you? How is your 
day, guys. I think Xavier's asking that to everyone. Our day's going all right. It's getting hot, though. And yeah, today's hot. Old Uncle Peter prepared food in advance for lunch so that... Did you put it in the fridge? No. We're going to cook it straight after the stream. Is Mediterranean restaurants popular there like uh, gyros and falafel? Yes. Mm-hmm. So we even have... Um, what do you call those caravan ones um, yeah. that are always next to a car wash for some reason. Kebab. Kebab. But they're like portable. They're not portable, but they're like a little... You just walk up to this caravan and they they serve you there. What? But we also have shops or restaurants that have them as well. So there, there's areas where we live that are predominantly Greek. So you're going to have a lot of them in those yeah, areas. We also have Italian, Greek. Yeah. There's certain areas, you know, where it's like all Italian, all Greek, all Chinese, all Vietnamese. So we have all of that. Um, but I'd have to say there's not that many Greek restaurants unless you go to one of those areas compared to, say, Italian, which is everywhere. <coughs> uh, Super Soul. Yeah, I did read that, Kane. I said that before. Kane says I don't read, I say Kane doesn't listen. Just like Auntie Stink Pants. You don't listen, do you, Stinky? Huh? What did you say? I said you don't listen, Stinky. <laughs> Uh, are you guys playing online? Yes, I believe we are and that it is a multiplayer game. So if you wanted to... Oh, it's multiplayer? Uh, I didn't know that. Gee, I wonder if that's another Omelette Arcade ad with the Nord VPN up there. Because they haven't... Uh, number one, they haven't said to us how they would... Oh, there you go. They've done it again. What so are you talking about? I wonder if they're going to tell us... You can see in the live chat, I didn't put that. That's that's omelette that's ad- advertising on our behalf. But they haven't asked me for any bank details or anything like that. I don't even know what's going on. We'll have to find out. Oh, John Lemon in the Sour Tones is here as well. It's good to see you too. Hope you're having a great Christmas season. Yes, it's uh, we're getting ready to get the final Christmas purchases, aren't we? Uh-huh. When it comes to the, the well, the turkey. We oh, you're talking about the eating part. The eating I part. I thought you're talking about the Christmas gift. We haven't get anything for your dad. I know. I haven't got anything oh, for you I have either. A, I have an idea. Oh, I, you tell me because I need to need to get him something. Turkey. How about turkey? <laughs> oh, I say, Abiza BM. Do you speak uh, English? Because they've said great Italian, only pizza, spaghetti, and mandolin was missing. And Pavarotti and Bocelli, come on. Then I'll say lasagna, ravioli, fettuccine. And then uh, what are your musical terms? Soprano. What else? Denno. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm kind of forgot what they are already. <laughs> oh, the turkey's very important for me in this household, uh, John Lemon. Uh, it's it's the one thing that I look forward to. What about you? And again, giving shout outs to all of these new channels that have joined. Uh, John, from memory, they do older, say Penguin, you might be interested. They do older style music covers, if I'm not mistaken with that. Uh, I've only sort of recently started connecting with some of these people. So, yeah, what is everyone's... What's the most exciting thing for Christmas for everyone? I want to have, like, um, seafood Christmas for once. Don't have that just yet. Uh, Well, you did have not so good... uh, Not so good, what is it? Yeah, I don't. Lobster. I don't have a good ones. You gotta have crayfish. So we stream at the same time pretty much every week, Xavier. So we try to start either, you know, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock p.m. our time. So at the moment it's, what is it, 1 o'clock our time. 
So sometimes the stream might actually start at this time if Stink Pants is fluffing around like she does. Uh, but we did start closer to the time we would like to, which is 12. But it's basically every, every week at this time, unless we take a break. And uh, yes, what about you, John Lemon? What do you enjoy for Christmas and everyone else? Oh, that might be using... Oh, hang on. No, I've missed a bit. Just bear with me. I use VPN, but not NordVPN. There you go. We're actually the same. We don't use Nord. But we do use a, a VPN. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey, <laughs> we're happy to get the advertisement as long as we get paid. <laughs> I'd be not, not happy if they don't pay us. Uh, Pavarotti, I read that one. Oh, that might be using your free advertising, Uncle Pudod, since you're using your app. Um, I don't think that's how it works, at least from what I read. But yeah, who knows? I'll start investigating it after the stream. I got the lava lamp as a Christmas gift for myself. There you go. Stinky, do you want something for Christmas? Let's share it with the live chat. Yeah, I already told you when you don't oh, what remember. Did you, what did you want? A Yaria. Uh-oh. I already say. If you don't want to say it to the world at large, you can whisper in my ear. Look, I have so many in the list. What do you want? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get a piece of paper. <laughs> Lay it on me. Okay. Apple Watch. No way. <laughs> <laughs> or some sort of Garmin Fitbit or something, you know, that kind of thing. For sport or get me a... Uh, hmm, what do you call that? PTP Power 2. A what? <laughs> I don't even know what a Fitbit is either. Okay, never mind. Hey, what did you say? A PPV power tube? No, PTP power tube. It's like a equipment for do a strength training. Yeah. What else? Um, lava lamp is not too bad. We just <laughs> don't have space. And, you know, you don't have to... You don't have to pay anything if you're willing to do this one that I'm going to tell you. Use a lot of effort. Install that shoe rack for me. Uh, <laughs> that's a joint effort though. Because I'm pretty sure I can't do it on my own. And is that it? Oh, you want more? Well, you're only getting one. You just give but... me a... A uh, Maya voucher, how's that? Easier for you. You just want my voucher. <laughs> Maya voucher. Well, I'll just give you the cash. Um, yeah, you can. But then, that's, isn't that more like better for you to get a voucher so you can use your credit card, right, to get your points to buy a voucher? Yeah. And then the card, you can just, you know, keep wrapping or if you very... It's easy to wrap a card. My card is what it is. <laughs> then I can choose it for myself. That's true. Geez, I'm romantic, aren't I? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, hey, everyone, call it. Oh, no, I read that already. I must be way behind in the chat. Oh, I am way behind in the chat. I don't eat seafood because it doesn't taste good to me. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm similar to Red December. You, you don't like the taste or you don't like the smell? A uh, bit of both. Xavier's gone already probably, so he's sorry I didn't say goodbye. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. We're getting a story time. Ibiza said bravi, which I think means very good. Uh, I love the snow. I don't get much here. Oh, there you go. I like spring and autumn. Not yeah. quite like the extreme ones, like summer winter and, winter. and summer. But still like summer more than winter. Oh, that was it. I thought you were going to say something else. Hey. Um, my Mad Delgado is here as well. Tamsak host thumbs up. So I believe they're actually speaking Indonesian. If I'm not mistaken. 
Oh no, Javanese. Oh, I'm going to have to switch between the languages now. Look at me go, Stinky. This is when I wish I was playing the games and you were doing this. Because you are a lot faster than I am. I wonder what it is about today. We've got so many different people coming and going from the stream. Uh, I'm also getting a ballet studio in my house as a Christmas gift. Oh, nice oh. one. Uh, so Penguin's telling a sad story about what happened to his mate as his birthday was on the 10th. And I want to help him be remembered. Thank you. Jerry Litz here. It's good to see you as well. Oh, I'm going to have to do a quick DLG because there's so many. Just bear with me. Where are they? We'll do the DLG right there. There we go. And then I'll get back to my Italian friend here. a little bit slow when I'm doing this switching between languages too my goodness oh you're facing a big boss there stinky uh, it's just one challenge I don't know big boss or not but I think I'm not gonna pass this one. Oh, you can pass it you're a, the champion stick figure of all champion stick figures I get a call from my mate Andrew, who is my childhood mate, until he left for Seattle in the US. I missed him, so the last time I saw him, I told him we could no longer be mates. Ah, that's no Why? good. Because your mates leave you. I said that to one of my friends when I was in primary school, because yeah. he, his family moved away. But it's not their fault, you know. Yeah, but you don't know that when you're younger. You know, you think, no, you got to stay. Stay here, don't leave me. You know how that works, don't you stink? And how's Jerry Lip been seeing as we're waiting for the continuation of Penguin's story? <coughs> oh gee, I'm getting a little bit stinky myself there. You want to swap names? Nope. That's okay. Should I put on the air conditioner? If you really want, then okay. Well, it's up to you. You're the one that gets chilly. Due to the incident the day before when he pushed me over to win a race between me and him when he just walked away and left me on the floor. Oh, that's not very nice to win a race that way. All late stink pants would probably do the same thing. What? Wouldn't you? You'd do anything to beat me. You never do, because I'm the champion. But you try. Not true. You beat me all the time, don't you? Too competitive is the old stink pants. If there is such a thing. You got nothing to say there, Stinky? No. About how ultra competitive you are? No, I'm not. And I wonder, Red December with a ballet studio in your house, that'd be awesome. Does it have the ballet bar and the mirrors as well? Is that the plan? Whoa. <laughs> That's what you want now, is it? Oh, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> Until oh, we move to the rural area. That's true. Again, with all of the random stuff that I watch on YouTube, I saw a uh, ballet video saying these are the best stretches, and my goodness, you know, there's flexible and then there's ballet dancers. They put themselves in positions that I wouldn't think would even be possible, or how it could be good for your body to stretch to that degree. Like contortionist? Jack, oh, I'm struggling with the names today. Jack Karen Rabaja is here too. Hello, it's good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I think the first time uh, you've joined, so welcome, welcome. For my ballet studio, I'm having a company put in a wooden floor, mirrors, and a dance bar. Awesome. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Um, I'm not sure I want the ballet studio because I don't know how to dance. And you're not that flexible anymore. Oh, it can be trained, believe it or not. Even at your, our age? Yeah, it can. Really? I'm going to have to get more flexible because I can barely walk. 
I can barely stretch enough to get over a bike these days. Is it sitting on a horse? I'd have to sit sideways. Uh, hello, Jack Karen Rabadja. How are you? And uh, I'm not sure if English is your first language based on the name, which I'm struggling to pronounce, but I can try and talk or at least send chats in your language, which I was doing before. Uh, but that was when I was in primary school, so now we've both grown up. And I get a call from him after almost nine years, and he's in the hospital. Oh, no, he's got the cough cough. So he wants to contact everyone. Well, there's, I suppose, a good thing came out of a bad thing in that case, isn't it? And he got back in contact with Penguin because of that. We had a, a, more than a month of no new cases, and then some people came... Uh, back home from overseas that tested positive. I'm from the Philippines. Oh, there you go. I can do a tiny bit of Filipino. Ako serioso. And you know what I say to you, stink pants? Kadirika. Mm. Uh, you know what that means? I have no idea. You're disgusting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that all I get from you? But, what what uh, else do you want? You say I agree. Say it. No. You don't agree. I, I would say so do you. The, <laughs> the Philippines is one Asian country that I really want to go to that I haven't been to yet. Because we speak to a lot of uh, Filipino representatives from call centers. Like a lot of businesses will outsource to the Philippines. Yeah. And they, they sound almost American to me. The accent sounds almost American. Very, very good English. They're always very sweet people to talk to. Very, um, you can hear the smile over the phone. They're just very pleasant. So that's what I'll say there. Uh, maybe with a sister, just because she is close to me, otherwise we risk getting stuck at home. Uh, I don't speak English, I guess, a few words. Um, okay, so just bear with me. Okay, so I'm just... Sorry, whenever you hear me stop talking, it's because I'm doing a little bit of typing here. So... There we go. Um, almost finished. Is there anywhere that you could recommend to go? Because uh, Stink Pants basically loves traveling. So, uh, J. Karen Rabaja, is there any particular places that you would recommend in the Philippines? And I'm not too sure why that uh, soundtrack is struggling at the moment. Yes, I passed finally. Ugh. Well done, Stinky. You are the champion. And also, I'll ask uh, Ibiza as well. See, I'm doing all of this planning your holidays for the future. Too long future, maybe. <laughs> Having said about holiday, we're gonna travel to regional Victoria during this Christmas. Yeah, you're making me do more and more yeah. traveling, aren't you? <laughs> do you want to take the um the little camping stove so that you can yes. cook right there? <laughs> want to? I Did even. I'm gonna tell my friend to bring some like curry paste or other ingredient there. He's a chef anyway. So I might like we might collect some PBs, cook at the beach. Actually, do we need a license when we actually you know catch an eight there? No, so yes. you need a fishing You're license. Eat a whole lot. You're supposed to have a fishing license, so I don't know whether I should get one, because I would like to go fishing. Yeah, you should. Particularly if we got got pippies. It's better to get three years. One of the chef got the fishing license. He said it's cheaper to get three years one. You can get it was shorter period of time, but it's not really worth it. 
Fair point. We're doing it. Yep. We'll camp there too and keep eating pippies. Hang on, we we have to plan for the kitty cat. So I think we can just go away for maybe two nights. What do you reckon? If How we long? had that kitty cat door installed, we'd be able to say to the neighbours, can you just feed the cat? But, uh, you know what tradesmen are like. Uh, so Penguin started speaking to his friends uh, for two to three hours just to catch up every day, which is good. I'm glad to hear that they're both having fun. Uh, now, Jay Karen says, Davao City is a nice place. I've never heard of Davao or Davao. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I know Cebu and what's the other one? Manila. The two main ones, I guess. Mm. So there you go. Thank you for that suggestion, uh, Jay Karen. Is it near the coast? That's the other question I'll like ask, because it looks like the Philippines has some beautiful beaches there. Yeah. Verona says uh, Ibiza. Verona, we'll have to try that too. See, they're suggesting places that are not the touristy ones. Or well, I don't know if they're touristy, but the really well-known ones. You know what I mean? Like, if you go to, to Italy, where are you going to go? Italy? Yeah. Rome! There you go. Athens. See, you're picking all of the tourist places. Yep. So to hear these other ones is great. Also, there is a Florence, I think. So. Yeah, Florence. Mm, Sicily. What should I upgrade? Mm. Chat away there, Stinky. I don't know what to upgrade. Let me think. And should I upgrade the giant? Let's do the giant. And then what? Yeah, plane mode went kind of quiet. He was the one that was giving you all of the advice. So I don't know. And then what are some activities that we can do as well, uh, J. Karen? Because that's the other thing. Whenever we go traveling, it's almost always about the food and the sights to see. Because I like Filipino food. I think it's great. And I like most foods, really. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we, we don't have that many Filipino restaurants here. They're hard to find. You've got to go to, I guess, very specific areas. Unlike, say, why is it that Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese are way more prevalent? I They're... guess Philippines are smaller countries, smaller population maybe, mm -hmm. to spread throughout the world. <laughs> now, I suppose you, you make a point there. Uh, now is October, spooky season, also his favourite season, so I'll make a plan to see him on his birthday as we both expected this to be somewhat over by then. Yeah, well, hopefully if the various countries do what they need to to try and control it, uh, we certainly got a lot better at it. And even when those people from overseas returned home, they were very strict. Uh, it was completely changed how uh, people were getting quarantined and so on. So it's very, very strict now. So hopefully that, that will uh, happen elsewhere. I received a letter from the North Pole that said Stardust is one point away from the naughty list. She wants Santa to visit her. Stardust is going to get some coal to play with in the in the stocking. That's what's going to happen. Ah. And it doesn't surprise me she's on the naughty list. I've seen her do naughty things. She always tries to steal the show too. Do you know that? <laughs> Makes cameo appearances all the time. Do you want Santa to visit you too, Stinky? Nah. You better put out milk and cookies for him. I'm not fuss. Yeah, but, but Santa likes milk and cookies for, for Christmas the night before. You'll see they'll get eaten and drunk. Uh, get nothing. Stinky's not going to... Well... Santa is real. If you believe in him, he's real. That's what I'll say. Good old stink pants. 
Now I'm talking to myself at this point in time. Exactly. I get no reaction from you. Little reaction from the live chat. And I can't keep up the humor all the time. The humor is your stink. It's getting higher every time. <laughs> getting high up in the air throughout the time. Sniff. The longer it's stinkier. <laughs> sniff my pits. You want to sniff? No. Sniff that. <laughs> I am getting a bit sweaty here, but I don't want you to be cold if I put on the air conditioning. But, wow, I can smell myself too. That's when you know it's getting bad. And it's not the one where you can hold the nose there for too long. Unfortunately, I travel very little. I only visited Venice and cities or towns adjacent to mine. But I recommend Lagara and the surrounding mountains. Lovely. You'd do that, wouldn't you? Stinky? I'd do anything if I have money. Can you, can you say something while I'm talking? I'm concentrating. <laughs> Don't you say it already. It's attacking me. It's attacking me. Okay, just bear with me, guys. Uh, I've really got to learn how to multitask. <sighs> For one. What happened? What are you doing? Why you need help? Huh? Pool stink? Because I'm typing here. You, the pool and the stink? What is language Venice, is that? Hang on, is Venice? In, in Italy. Gondolas? Gondola is a boat. In Venice? Yeah. Why did I think Venice was a country? I'm an idiot. Yep, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not supposed to agree with me. Ah, uh, no? Okay. And then the other thing about uh, Venice, you showed me that picture, didn't you? Someone showed yeah. me a picture. Uh... Hill. <gasps> do. I don't like that. So, what? What I was? Uh, did I say that I was hardly paying attention? That mm -hmm. once the cough cough arrived, there's pictures of what Venice used to look like before that and after, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely gorgeous now, isn't it? The water's crystal clear. Very, very beautiful. Uh, so it was now November and I call him on the phone, it rang for a minute and then someone answered but it wasn't Andrew but Andrew's mother. It's more, oh, jeez, you ready for this one stinky and I don't know what the conversion is? Yeah, whatever. Where red December is at the moment, it's minus six degrees Celsius. Ooh. Well, hang on, Celsius, that's f beyond freezing. Minus what? Six degrees, minus six. You've experienced, what, one degree, I think? Zero. Minus Zero? Minus two at most. And uh, what about when we went to the snow? Did you even bother checking the temperature? I didn't check that time. It didn't seem that cold that day, but what do I know? No, you don't know. <laughs> oh, random. He's always doesn't uh, tend to like the games that we play these days. What? I don't mind this one. It's he good. says everything we do is boring. Yeah, but positive thoughts, random positive thoughts, you know, because when you say that stuff, it, it makes us look bad. Like, oh, we just play boring games. But the reality is half the people that are here, they're not even paying attention to the game, is it? They just want to come and have a chat, which is what we would like to do with you, random. Put you over my knee and spank you so that you don't get uh, Christmas presents from Santa. You get coal. I should give you coal this year, Stinky. I've lost this one. Ah, I've lost this one. Uh, and if you can recommend good ones, though, random, they are getting 
harder to find. And before you say anything about PlayStation, just bear in mind, we're not going to pay for games until we can actually afford them via what we earn, because we're not earning enough to do that uh, when it comes to the YouTube money. That's warm here for winter. My goodness, I don't even wear a hat. Minus six degrees is warm, stinky. Mm -hmm. It's a warm winter's day where Red December is. So maybe we should go there, because you like the warm. If I message Peter on Discord, will the whole stream see what I sent? Not if you're doing it directly to me, Kane. So if you message, do that uh, private DM thing, no one else can see it except for me. I think that's how it works anyway. Do you know Stinky? Nope. Look at you go. I actually yeah, don't I'm think this... I'm gonna lose again because I couldn't upgrade anything. I need help for this one. Like um, the spell and whatnot, I might need those kind of help. Otherwise, I'm not gonna win. Oh, you can win. You're a winner. Aren't you stink? Say it. I'm a winner. She began to... Oh, I don't know if I should... I'm going to read it. Don't know if I should say it out loud because it is getting a bit sad. Okay, so I read that. I'm a little bit scared to find out what happens next. But we shall see. You almost got that. Looks like they defeated you this time, though, is it? Yeah. Do you get more troops? Oh, yeah, you do get more. Um, I can't get any more. Wow, they keep advertising on the stream. That's crazy. Thank you, Omelet. Don't forget to pay us. <laughs> what do you say about that stink? you got to remind me, too, to check it at some point to see... See what is it? How do we get this thing sorted? Uh, yeah, try it out, Kane. I don't mind. I'm pretty sure that. Well, you can try it out with something you don't care that anyone sees, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to make a difference. Oh, what's that game? I think I've downloaded that. <coughs> so it does have a few ads in it, does it? Yeah, when you. Go back to the home or go to the next level and I lost twice so I'm gonna need to shop around for something else. Oh, it was good to see you, Jay Curtin. Rabadja, thank you for staying as long as you did. Uh, I hope you have a good day at work. Enjoy. Hopefully we'll see you again. Bye, says Stinky. Bye. And yeah, that message did pop up again. So uh, I hope they. That kind of has control of our account, you realise that? Because they're posting as if we were posting it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not me doing it. I keep saying that. Look at it, Christmas has come early. Man, you hope that uh, we can get more ad revenue, whether it be from YouTube or. Other sources, more channel members, merch, Patreon, all of the good stuff. Make the, the channel commercially viable. That's the big dream, isn't it, Stinky? For you, maybe, she says. Well, that's quite an army you got there, Stinkos. That's the enemy. That's quite an army the enemy's got there, Stinkos. What? How come you've got a tiny little army? we have to defend it. Do you ever get to attack? So you or have you... to start, start first, so you have to mine to get enough gold to train the troops. If you don't have gold, you can't train the troops. Alright. Then start from there. You can attack, but now I'm defending. Oh, Kane sent a message, but he retracted it already, so I don't know what he said. Hang on, I'll just check Discord. No, I don't think anyone can see that except for me, Kane. 
Am I allowed to read it out loud or not? Because there's nothing wrong with that message. That's pretty straightforward. He's just saying you're doing very well. I didn't get his permission. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, no, so he did. Oh, dear. Um, Penguin, I'm very sorry to hear that. That's... That's not good. Uh, Our deepest condolences on behalf of Stinky and myself. He just recently got in contact with a long lost friend and they passed away because of the cough cough. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, it's it's a shame that, that people don't believe or don't take it as seriously as they should. I mean, you gotta think Penguin's young so I would guess that his friend was young and healthy at the time as well. Mm. So I'm, I'm very sorry for your loss. Uh, apart from that, it is I who have no passion for travelling. I do not like to drive, so they took me to places I visited when I was younger. All I can say is I hope the you know the pain passes one day and the fond memories begin and um, try and be thankful for the fact that you did get to, to speak to him again after all those years before that happened, you know. Mm. like that there, Stinky? I don't know. I don't know what to add. I'd like to say a moment's silence, but the soundtrack's going... seems like we, we have a lot of up and downs in the streams, don't we? That sometimes things are good, sometimes they're bad. I'm hoping this is helping Abiza BM as well. That they're going to the effort to translate into English and I'm translating into Italian for them. You know what she said? I actually, I don't even know if it's a he or a she. So, sorry. Um... I might ask that as well. Almost done. It really didn't hit me at first until the 10th of this month on his birthday when I got a call from my girlfriend asking when I'll leave for Seattle. Um, wait, what? No, <laughs> oh, I'm not. I, I don't know whether he's wait watting at my Italian or what's going on there. Maybe I should practice saying it as well. Do you think I should? Stinky, me disparti, pozo. Huh? Masaccio a femenina in a modo che pasiamo. Oh, I'm struggling. In drizzati comandat. Stop trying. I don't think that works. <laughs> you don't know. She, uh, she might be, be saying uh, you're speaking perfect Italiano. <laughs> Are we you, two hours already? You not yet, right? Not quite, but we're actually getting close. This one went a lot faster than than it usually does. I'm wondering how I'm gonna shake through here. Normally, 
really shaky. It doesn't show. It's weird. Anyway. Uh, I don't know what to get. Maybe this one. Bye. Let's do it. Eh. Ready. Oh, hang on. Just for that, I'm going to ask our new friend how good was by pronunciation. Uh. Prego. So, which I think means you're welcome. What happened, Uncle Put up the stream end? Not as far as I'm aware, it looks like it's still going. Hasn't it? Uh, no, it still looks like it's going, I think, anyway. Hey, Messages hey. keep going there. We are the champions, Penguin. Uh, it's, yeah. So, I hope you feel better soon, mate, because that would be I won't say that they're friends but I did uh, there were people that passed away when I was still in school they weren't personal friends though but it's still kind of sad when you know someone passes away that young well, not kind of it is sad what am I saying just rambling that's what Stink, uh, Peter does doesn't he you're not supposed to agree with me, Sting Pants. You say, no, you're the master. Master commentator. Let me try again. Quanto è buono cattiva la pronuncia? Quando saravo di parle italiano? How about that, Sting Pants? I am Italian. Uh, that I don't think so. Technically, I am technically or a tiny bit you know that T tiny bit yes i would have to agree with that and you i'm sure with the amount of italian food that you eat that you've got a little bit of italian in you too in fact every time you eat italian you got a little bit of italian in you get it uh, mm -hmm. uh, so bad at doing the jakey jokes so bad at understanding food up jokes. You got that right. Well, maybe the stream has entered. They've all gone very quiet now. Oh, and while I'm doing that, let me just see if there's a, a little jokey joke that I can do. Do you have one for me, Stink? No. Let's see what happens here. Troopy troop now, come on, troop! Troops me! That's not enough, come on! Quicker! <laughs> That's what you do, Stinky, you gotta be quick. Is Stickman different from Stick Legacy? You do, oh, look at you, you're facing a grand champion there again. Uh, what do they call them? Big Boss. You're a big boss in real life, aren't you, Stinky? Good old Big Boss. That's what they call her at work. I, I, we got the Big Boss at work for sure. You know, Boss of the Boss. The boss of the boss was there. Ah. Still cannot win this. Me. I need to upgrade more, but how? I yeah, can't you get do. it anymore. You're an upgrader. Good, come on, ha <laughs> ha, good, come on, I understood well, I lost the connection, I only use a smartphone, I only see the chats, 
The stream ended on accident. The stream did not end on purpose, therefore it will not receive a We Are The Champions. I do apologize for this move, but the We Are The Champions is sacred only for working streams. Hi, Yen Marines. It's good to see you as well. Welcome to the stream. I think it's the first time you've been here too. 